Good morning everybody, welcome back to our farm. What a glorious day it looks like it's going to be. I slept like an absolute log in our new farmhouse last night. As you can see, September the 1st, and we have plenty to do. Um, that is one thing I probably will keep my eye on as well, is because I've got it on three days per month. Possibly going into the winter, I may drop that down to one day per month because I think there's going to be a lot of thumb twiddling in the winter. But we will see. Um, we have a lot of straw, as we know from last episode. Now, I'm in two mines. It'd be nice to do a bit of baling, but obviously that's going to cost us. We'll probably just be renting all the equipment to get the straw up anyway, whichever way we decide to go. But now I'm in two minds of picking it up as loose and tipping at our silo and waiting because I've just been scouring the prices whilst eating my breakfast. If we go on the right menu, it might help. And at the minute, up the biomass heating plant 76 euros but again if we look in this menu the prices are all going up towards the winter time so what I just said about thumb twiddling some of the winter could be spent selling off crops and straw and things like that so I think we may go that way it would have been nice to do a bit of baling, but I think we will go that way. And we are still in the window for planting canola. Plus, we've just gone into the window for wheat and barley, so that's quite cool. Um, obviously, we need to do a fair bit of work on some of our fields. Probably at the minute, our best field... Well, it's probably this guy at the minute once we've picked the straw up and we need to mulch it because these three need ploughing we can't do anything with 42 yet because that is still growing it's almost there I think next month we'll be yeah in October we'll be harvesting that corn so that'll give us something to do as well so yeah plenty to do so what we'll do anyway is we'll head on up to the shop in our tractor because we have no other means of transport and we'll see as well what they've got going on in the bargain basement hopefully there'll be something of use to us I mean if there's a baler in there it could be tempted So let's get the old flashers on and we'll wait for this chap and head off. Yes, yeah, so I quite enjoyed the first episode. Hope you guys did. I had some nice positive comments. Trying something different in farm manager mode. Ooh, we're going that way, that's good. But it is going to be tough. I think the economy is a lot more tougher than FS19, so we need to make sure we're up for the challenge. I'm certainly looking forward to the challenge. Right. Let's go and see what they've got. Probably not anything of interest to us. But you never know. Right, oh, two things. Ooh, a tractor though. I do like this tractor. I must admit, that would be cool. If we had the funds, I would buy that because that would be a nice sort of everyday tractor only 135 horsepower but no nothing in there that's a shame 
So going back to the baling, obviously if we get a, got a ugh, if we got a baler, could go for this little Massey Ferguson because then that produces the small bales that we could pick up. So we can stack them up or we can load them onto a trailer ourselves. But if we start going into this sort of territory, it obviously becomes more expensive. Then we've got to get means of loading them. We can get these bow loaders. There's this that holds 24 bows. But again, it's the price and the cost. So I was thinking, and especially if we are going to pick it up loose, get this little fella at the end. Only holds 16,100 litres, which isn't a lot. But our silo's right next to us. When it's full, tip it straight in the silo. So I think we will do that. And what is this to lease? 1,555 euros. That is a bargain. So we are going to do that. So I head back to the farm. And I would like to at least get the straw picked up. And those three fields that we harvested last episode mulched. We're going to use the mulcher for the first time. Which I'm quite excited about. I do love those beacons reflecting. I think that's brilliant. I know I said it last episode, but sometimes it's the small things. <laughs> right, hopefully. It will go quite far in terms of the 16,000. Right, doesn't really matter what field we start on. Probably just go straight in front of us. So, do we need to unfold that? Doesn't look like it. Turn it on, drop it down. So, how many rows can we actually do before it's full? Seems like it's got quite a good pick up on it. Like so, I've got all of that, that's good. So I think we'll get a good few rows before this is full. tip it straight into the silo Right, 
so this is almost done this field already at quite a decent amount I think this is the fourth load oh we're going to squeeze it all in it's going to be close it's going to be on the nose perfect that'll do we will tip that straight in and then what I'll do is I will carry on with the oat field and I'll bring you back in just as we're about to finish and we'll check our total amount we got quite a decent amount I reckon probably will be a few trips backwards and forwards so when we come to sell it I can't see us being mega rich by then and being able to buy or lease a truck and trailer but we will see but I'll head on up here I'll get this done and I'll see you a little bit later we're almost done quite excited to see how much we've actually got I know we're not going to get paid out a huge amount for straw but it's kind of like a free product so if we can make a little bit of money off it then that is great so we'll tip that in there oh that is terrible and let's check how much we have so straw whoa 164,082 litres just off of those two fields that is mad so definitely going to be a few trips backwards and forwards but as you can see it is going up at the biomass heating plant and according to this it is going to keep on increasing as we go into the winter so hopefully come january we will be even better price i'm guessing it's not going to be huge but i mean if it gets up around near 100 that is going to be awesome but we'll see it's all still a learning curve for us all so let's return this loading wagon and we are going to need a mulcher which again i'm looking forward to using that's a new piece of equipment in fs22 question is what one can we get hopefully we can get a fairly wide one because it's going to make our life a little bit easier it's going to be quicker because we have got three fields to do I'd like to get them all done today we're already at five minutes past two in the afternoon so let's back that in there and return that to them fellas thank you very much saved me a lot of time and hassle turn that chipped a little bit of paint off here and there but hey ho <laughs> I'm sure they'll sort that out right mulchers so in here there we go definitely not worth looking at any of these they are far too small three meters 5.6 now we're talking need to keep an eye on the horsepower those six meters i'm not sure the tractor's gonna pull that i think we're at 170 aren't we there is this the dalbo maxi cut 600 which is almost six meters and we can handle that with a tractor 
That's a very... I don't know, it looks a bit vicious, that, doesn't it? Almost looks a bit like a car wash going through. Like that. <laughs> Still. Right. Let's not worry about any of the wheel setups. I don't want to be spending more money than we have to. What is that to lease? That's only just over 1,100 euros. We'll lease that. Hopefully, as we progress and build up, we can sort of start buying these things and like I said we'll keep my eye on the discount sale that's a good point actually I didn't even check that no nope, so nothing's changed there that's cool you got deer running around look there's loads of them that's a main road be careful I want to see any splattered deers over the road Right, let's take this back to the farm. And I think we'll start with the canola field. Right, so let's unfold this. I really do hope this is an actual mulcher. It looks a bit like a roller, but... There is a separate category for rollers, so I'm assuming it is a mulcher. Anyway, let's get a bit closer. Oh, I think we just mulched a bit of the grass there. <coughs> Never mind. So it does look like it is a mulcher. That is cool. Look at the difference in texture. Let's jump out and have a look. Mulched. Unmulched. I like that. Right, excellent. So that does work. That's pretty good. Almost the widest width we could get. So... gonna make our life a little bit easier and obviously I've got three fields to do so I'm not gonna bore you with all of them I'll just do a little bit let's go round that tree I think hopefully there's no traffic coming I'm probably gonna mulch the grass again yeah that's fine I presume that's going to grow back. <laughs> if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It gives us a little reminder of when we mulch the grass instead of our field. So I'm missing bits already. But I am actually pleased this is working because when I was coming back from the shop, I was kind of a bit worried that we picked up a roller even though it is in the mulcher category oh probably should have raised that a bit sooner we're wrecking the grass here it's definitely working
So we're almost done. Pretty cool bit of kit this, I like this. And by doing this, the mulching, it should give us a 5% increase in our yield off of this crop, whatever we decide to put in here. But we have still got quite a bit of work to do on the fields to get them up to sort of speed where we want them for the maximum yield. We're not going to get it all done this episode and we do have a little bit of time on our hands because we're on three day months so that's pretty cool and I will get the other two fields done and I'll see you towards the end I think that will probably be it then it'll be time to go inside for a bit of dinner and then head off to bed again so I'll see you a little bit later guys This should be the last pass and then we are done. Look at that beautiful sunset. I've quite enjoyed doing this job actually. It's something different. You can see a lot better in these two fields where you've been. It's a little bit, you can obviously see it in the Canoda field, but it's more clearer in these two fields. I think we are just about done. We go into our map. It now returns the field into a sort of bare state. But obviously we still need to plough these three fields. And 41 and 40 need lime. Obviously so does 42, but that has corn in it. We should be ready to harvest next month. So I think we'll head up to the shop and return this mulcher for them. We'll come back, we'll park up, and I think we will call it a night, or a day even. So let's get the old beacons on. cab I think and then tomorrow's task will be those two which I mentioned hopefully we may be able to get something growing in there before September is over because we need to sort of think ahead plan ahead what we're going to do next, where we're going to go. And also, I would like to try and get some chickens at some point. But it all depends how much that is going to cost us. Hopefully in the long run the returns are going to pay off in terms of eggs that is. So we'll return this in an absolutely filthy state. Like so. And I think the tractor's looking a little bit grubby as well. We're going to have to, at some point, get ourselves a pressure washer. new one did come out on the market today in fact if I can see okay when we get back to the farm we might plonk one down and give the tractor a little bit of a spray off the harvester could do with one as well but I think we'll wait until we've harvested the corn and then give that a go as well that road came up a bit quick drive a bit fast around this area right so 
So the question is, let's turn those off. Where can we put this one? It's only going to cost us 1,550. Don't want it on the tractor roof. Could maybe squeeze it in that gap. It'd be nice, well, we could still drive through there. Or maybe on the end of this shed. I'm not too worried about that door. That could be a good spot, actually. I don't think it's going to affect us too much. Or... Over here, but then do we really want to... Actually, that could be a nice little wash bay there if we landscape that. Got rid of the grass. Hmm. Just pull in there and spray off our machine. Spray all the dirt into the road and into the oncoming traffic. <laughs> um, yeah. Is that a good idea doing that? Yeah, why not? Let's go there then. Although someone could pinch that from there. Ah, oh, let's just do it. Right, we've done it. I'm going to have to leave the lights on because I can't see what I'm doing properly. Turn the engine off. Let's see how this works. I think we're getting the worst off. The tractor does look quite cool with the lights on. Give that a bit of a spray. Might see if I can bolt that down somehow. Stop anyone from stealing it. Right, so we're all clean. I think we're just back in this door for now. There's nothing in there. Do me. Shut that up. And there we go. Another day, another episode. Fair bit done again. Nice and productive day. It will get better as we go on because we'll have things to do. So, hope you have all enjoyed the episode. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.